What is going on, everybody? My name is Corey, and as usual, I got your boy Cody on the Zoom. We've been talking about this video for, what, a couple weeks now? And it's finally here because the first game of the season starts in five days, six days, something like that. Thursday. It starts Thursday. Um, but anyways, here is the tier list video in which we've talked about so much. Obviously, the grades we're putting on these A, B, C, D, and F, just like you would get in school. Um, obviously, I'm considering A to B uh, to be pretty good. C, you're just average. And D and F, is which I got a lot in school, um, that's your bad. That Pretty was, simple. That was the longest breakdown ever of the most simplest thing <laughs> yeah. ever gather. Like I was saying, pretty simple. I think you're born knowing this. Here's <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. People missed school a couple of this year. So back to the basics, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going to jump right into it. Um, obviously, we're starting with the bad, starting with the F. Throw them logos up there quick. Because already I've got days, we got Bucks, Chiefs, and Bills. No brainers, obviously. Uh, I said we're starting with F. You're jumping to oh, A's. My bad. Jesus. <laughs> no spoilers. I'm eager. Uh, stop. I'll work my way to the bottom. <laughs> yeah. All right, Cody. We're starting with F's. It's pretty simple. Do I need to explain this for four minutes? I missed some school. <laughs> yeah. Um, so obviously I'm taking Jets right off rip to put in F. Yeah, I don't think the Jets are F, I think they're D. And we're gonna kind of talk our way through this and see where we can collectively put these. I'm okay with putting them in D. I, I just said F because we don't really know what they're about with their whole new situation. Um I am okay with putting them in D. So I'll make you happy on the first one. This next one, the Eagles, I honestly have no clue where you're ranking them. Yeah, F. Okay, because I had them pretty low when we did the schedules. Um, they got really nothing going on. The running game is good. Let's run through the F, dude. There's no need to even fucking – the highlight is their name, and that's it. Houston. Yo, where do you want? F. I, I, I think they're going to be the worst team in the league. Broncos. I see. I I don't think they're an F. Teddy I'll, Bridgewater. I'll let you put him D. Bridgewater's a an upgrade. Yeah, Jerry. They have, Miller. They have receivers. Their Stop. run game is okay. Melvin. Gordon. I had I had him in C. Um, Falcons. I have them F. F. I have them in a D. I can see why after this offseason you put them in an F. Losing Julio, That's Manny Ice fun. is getting old. Um, Jags. I'll let you put them at an F. I see. I don't have them in an F. I have them in a D. Okay, me too. Then. Okay, that, that's a good one. We agreed on. You got it. They got a lot to prove this year. Simple as that. Um, just by the way, I'm done with Fs. So if you have me somebody too. in F, okay. Giants. Giants. Put them in a D. I have them in D, so I'm good with that. Bet an okay QB. Really no receivers. No run game. Bears. A decent run game. D. Chicago. D. I have them in D as well. I hope they do better. Yes, I hope Justin Fields, Fields comes in and he really rocks the house. This is one I don't know if we agree on. Lions. Oh, I did actually have them in the F, but I'll let you put them in D. Who, the Lions? Yeah. I'm good with D. I, I think they're going to be not the worst. They're definitely taking a step down losing Stafford, is what I think. All right. Panthers. And, and I have Cincy there. No, no, keep going. That, Bengals. 
I have the Bengals in D. D as well. Throw okay. Up. I think Burrow still got stuff to prove. The only good thing about that team is the run situation at this point. Hey, Burrow's a highlight, bro. I know. I just said I think he still has a little bit to prove. I think he will be pretty good, though. San Francisco. See, I actually have them at a B. I have them in a C. And with Jimmy G back, I can see why you put him in a B. They have a good run game. They have receivers. Their defense is pretty decent. Well, they're starting with Jimmy G, but we all know it's going to go to Trey Lance. And and see, that's why I put them at a C. But I'm good with putting them at a B. I can see why. Rams. I have them at a B as well. I have them in a C just because it's going to take a minute for Sony Michelle to jump into that offense. It's going to take Matt Stafford a little while to just gel with each other. I don't know if I would put them at a B. I think they have enough playmakers to where it makes Matt Stafford's life a little easier. That's correct. But you being a Browns fan, no, you can be hyped up like crazy and still get the shit end of the stick. It's not being hyped up. We know what Matt Stafford can do. He's, he's all time consistency. I'm reluctant to put him at a B, but all right. I put him at a B because of Matt Stafford. Uh, the playmakers they have on the wide receiver core. Browns had playmakers too. Great, and I would put Browns at an A. I'm talking about last year, how good you were hyped up and then ended up not doing much. Not doing much? We went to the playoffs and won again. Right. Not last year. Sorry, the year before that. Oh, that's just... You were literally the most hyped-up team in the NFL. I I blame that on the coach. Yeah, that could be. (laughs) 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 Um, Your boys over in Washington. Do them well. Uh, You can rate them at a C. (laughs) I already know you were going to. I'm I'm putting them at the C. (laughs) He's got a lot of faith in their defense, which I do agree with. They do have a good defense. But the quarterback situation is shoddy at best, even though I love him. The run game isn't bad. And they have a couple, one in Scary Terry, wide receiver. He'll go off any day. But other than that, I, I can't count on him. This magic um, is 500 quarterback. I'm looking at it like that. That's an 8-8 eight and eight season on a normal year. And then you got uh, their great defense to bump it up a couple wins. So 10 or 11. That's a B and a C in my book. All right, it's, it, it's staying C. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carolina. Panthers, I have a D. Ooh. See, I have them at a C, and I think I'm okay with moving them down just because we don't know how well Sam Darnold is going to do with this team. Um, they lost a good receiver. In the hell's his name now? Corey Davis. I'll make you a deal. Because there's another, uh, I think there's another team on D that you're missing that I usually I have right now too. It's the Dolphins. Which one do you want to move down to D? Which one do you want to keep up a C? Uh, pick which one you want to go into C or D. Dolphins or the ones you currently have in your fingertips right now? I think I'd put the Dolphins at D. Okay, put the Dolphins at D. Put the other ones up at C. Panthers, there we go. So Panthers. I I had Dolphins at D. I don't or C. I don't know why. Because I I did nothing but talk shit about them this past couple of days. I don't think they're going to do well, and they're in a, a a division with the Bills. So that's why they're going in D. Cody talked me into putting the Panthers up at C. Moving on to the Patriots. Patriots. I got out of C. I I completely agree. I think this is going to be a mediocre team at best with a new quarterback. It's just not enough for me to hype up. Um, Chargers. 
I'll give you eight bucks if you can tell me who's starting quarterback for them. Oh, uh, dude, <laughs> yeah. I really had to think. I really had to think. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, I have them in a C. Sorry, Justin. I could put them in a B because Herbert is very good. Threw for over 4,000 yards. Their receivers are good. Again, they have a, a good run game. I don't know what you have them as. Who? The Chargers. Oh, see, I already told you that, mofo. Oh. Left the Chargers up there. And the Raiders. C for Chargers. Oh, I'm glad you said that because that was the next team. I said it in the last video. The very mediocre if that's a word, team in the NFL. And I know you're probably rated in this team as an F. No, I got them at a C. They just Again. Have, it has a little poop stain by it on my paper. <laughs> yeah. When I wrote that down, I dug in there real fast. A lot of questions. Will they have a run game this year? How well will Ben do? And will he do good enough to get his receivers adequate attention? So that's why I'm calling them mediocre. You get a C. Um, Indianapolis Colts. Colts, I have a C as well. Okay. Again, pretty much the same thing. Their defense was good last year. Um, Carson Wentz coming in puts me into that little predicament of – when he gets hurt, how well will they do? I, I got, think he's an I think he's an okay quarterback when he's in the game. I got one more team up on C. I'm sure you do too. It's the Saints. I don't, but I didn't take into account all the questions behind their team. Michael Thomas. Oh. I, I'm not a huge fan of Winston. James, their defense is okay. What is it? Jameis not Jameis no more Squinston. That's what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I can see why that's a why that's a C team. I had this team in B, and I did this before. Um, and by this team I mean the Cardinals, if you didn't see. Um, had them in B. I really love the Cardinals. I don't think they're going to be the best team. They're going to take a minute to gel is basically what I'm saying. They have a whole new team around them. I have them in B. I like them in A. But yeah, I'll, 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 I don't think it takes them long to gel. Um I think it's perfectly fine. They got weapons and not too many new people. I mean, Chase Edmonds has been there for a while. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Kyle Murray. Kyle, Kyler Murray is a great quarterback. <laughs> D-Hop. Larry Fitzgerald is still questionable from what I've seen. Um, parts of their defense. Uh and I can't remember his name. He came from Malcolm Butler. Uh, he's gone for a little while. That's why I had him in B. But I'm I, like I said, I, I love the team. Bump him down to B. We'll wait off on the first A. I'm, I'm super high on him, but I, I was confused on that pick. Now, this one, I don't know where you had them, the Cowboys, because of how you ranked them when we went over the mm -hmm. schedule. Wow, even – oh, you, you also had Washington in a B, correct? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. That makes more sense now. I'm high on them as long as they have Dak. Without Dak, that team is screwed, which is why he got paid. <laughs> which is why he had surgery twice. <laughs> yeah. uh, Minnesota Vikings, the quarterback that I'm so hard on for <laughs> – no reason. I honestly couldn't tell you. I had him in a B. You're not hard on for him. You're hard on him. <laughs> yeah. I had him in a B just because thinking about it, 
he is a good quarterback. He also threw for over 4,000 yards. Receivers are pretty good. Justin Jeffries is great. Jefferson. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Justin Jefferson. Justin, <laughs> Justin Jefferson. Um, I think with the way he looks now, could possibly then be the next DeAndre Hopkins or Devontae Adams. I had him in a B. Same. Okay. Throw them up quick, but you're taking 14 minutes. <laughs> um, your boys, Browns, B for Browns. I got him at an A, man. I kind of figured you would. And just like before, I, yes, you did win a playoff game. Um, Baker loves to scramble. He looks good when he throws. And I, I'm going to go on all these things that I, I like about him. Um, the signing of Jadavion Clowney. Yeah, he, he was good. He is still good. He, he's too injury. He gets injured too much. By too much, I'm talking about last season. Um, you know, will he stay healthy? You have Miles Garrett, obviously. I like I said, I had him in a B. If you want him at a A, yeah, I guess I I'm good with it. Gonna fight back a little bit, but I'm gonna. Baker doesn't like to scramble. We like to run that bootleg a lot, so it forces him to scramble either to the right or to the left. Preferably, what I've liked from him is to the left. He's a really good left scrambling quarterback for being right-handed. Uh, so therefore, he has to throw across his body or on the move, but. Um, not just the J- Jadavion Clowney. I know he can get injured sometimes too. Uh, our offense is amazing. So I don't think scrambling is going to be an issue for Baker at all. And then look at our other defensive signings as good. Our defense was already good, but you can look at our other defensive signings as well. We had, uh, we drafted, we signed Anthony Walker, the John Johnson, the safety it was one of the best in the league came from Buffalo, I do believe. We drafted Greg Newsome out of the draft in the first round. Grant Delpit should be healthy this year. He was our number one pick last year. I just think the only the only thing I don't like about it everywhere, not to count them as an A. Every the only thing I don't like about it is you still have OBJ. And regardless of what coach you have in there, okay. if he's not if he's not getting his, get rid of he's OBJ gonna, from the lineup. He's gonna whine and cry about it. Get out. Of, get rid of OBJ from the lineup entirely. Don't even replace him with another player. Put another kicker on our league if you want. Look at our but, wide receivers. We got Jarvis Landry. Rashad. But you can't do that because he is in the lineup, which means he's gonna result in turnovers. It's not whether I like him or not. It's the fact that if he's not getting his and he showed it that he will go to the sideline and toss a cooler for 40 yards and piss and moan about it, just like Antonio Brown did. And, and, and then I, Baker is forced to try to get him. Antonio Brown was still great and you guys won. So I'm okay with those theatrics as long as we're winning. Like I said, I, I'm fine with keeping it an A. I'm going to put it on this end and build this way because I want to move towards kind of what I think or who I think is the best in the A's. Um, Anyways, moving on. Uh, Green Bay, obviously an A team. Now that Aaron Rodgers is back. Yeah, yeah. It's an F for Aaron Rodgers' haircut, but. (laughs) (laughs) Move you down to A A minus. (laughs) Um, Super Bowl champs, Bucks, obviously an A. Easy. Titans, fucking throw them up there, dude. We all know it. You're watching this channel and don't know that they're A's. You just. Uh, 
Um, yeah, obviously the Titans have made a ton of moves. I agree. Bills are going to be great. We predicted them to go like 13 and three or something. 13 and four, sorry. They're going to make a good playoff run. Titans, they're going to get, they're definitely going to the playoffs. I don't know if it'll be a deep run, but it'll be a good run for them. Um, KC, you just talked all that crap about them. They're still an A team. I don't care how how slow they get. I think they have the I think they have the second most talent in the league. I just think our youth to talent ratio is better right now. Um, I'm leaving this one for last because I I don't know on what side of the spectrum you have them. Um, but my second favorite team, Ravens. Obviously, are there an A team? Well, for one, you're on some type of spectrum. If your favorite team is the Steelers, and your second favorite is the Ravens, I told you I like Flacco. Interdivision rivals, but Super yeah, Bowl, Super have... Bowl quarterback. It's not about that. It's about talent. <laughs> <laughs> Or when he had talent. Um, can you tell me what team is not on the board? Because I don't know where you placed them. Hold on. Seahawks. Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks. I have a, a, you have them what? A B. Oh, I thought you said D. <laughs> I think, I honestly think they're like a low A team. Because they're, they're, I don't know what the Cardinals now, but they're going to be first and or second in their division. They're still going to have a good shot to because they have weapons. Yeah, but they, yeah. You know, are they, they any better than the Rams and Cardinals? And we have them at B. I think Cardinals are personally better than them. Oh, so do I. I have them winning the division. Well, but I'm also taking into account they have DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. The run game could be a little better, but it's 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 great. Russell Wilson, again, age, they're talent. Gonna, they're gonna eat. But I think it's all gonna be a lot of garbage time, and they're still a, a they're still B. All right, I'll uh, I'll, I'll make myself happy. Russell Wilson I'll put him for his life yesterday. I'll put him a high B. Yeah. Um, I'm going to add a little box right here. Oh, I like boxes. Uh, for an S. No, that's not superior. SpongeBob or Sandy? Yeah, that's right. I forgot to draw some legs. You got it. <laughs> No, it's an S for save our skins, dude. <laughs> yeah. In this box, put one team that you think is going, obviously from the A team, nobody from the D team or F team is making a Super Bowl run. Jeez. So if you, if you had to pick your Super Bowl winner for next year, Chiefs. I wasn't talking shit on them. I just think in the long run, they may win a Super Bowl this year. I obviously think they're going to, but give it two or three, four years. I just think Browns will age better as long as we when, keep going. When they still have Patrick Mahomes, the best tight end in the league, the fastest guy to probably ever play, aside from DK Metcalf. And he can catch the ball really well. Super shifty. I mean, I. They don't, have, those the greatest, are, they don't have the greatest defense. They have a good defense, but not the greatest defense. But you can still score on them. But, yes, 
I would say their defense is better than the Browns. They've shown that you can shut them down. We know uh, defense wins Super Bowls. Browns have a stacked defense at the moment, and we have a stacked offense. I just and if we keep going at the current rate we're going with draft, how we've been drafting and how we've been signing and trading recently has been too impressive to say that we're not gonna just. On a dynasty output, I we look better. All right. Um, on them because I think they're gonna win the Super Bowl. I honestly don't know. I, I probably would have said the Chiefs. You're probably going to go Bucks again. Man, I think this team's going to be hot this year. I think they learned from last year. Yeah, I would probably say the Chiefs. So Chief times two. Or maybe the Bills. Which NFC team do you think is going? And that's, oh, I, that's, I guess that leaves all the all these out. You got two picks. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's the hard part because it's hard not to pick the Bucks. But as much as I don't want to pick the Bucks, I'm going to have to. Yeah, Green Bay. And I've said it before, Green Bay is going to be the same. I, they're not They're not going to a Super Bowl. Not again. Not, not again. It's like not, a, not again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're going to win. All the they're going to win their division. Every year they, yeah. head. they get right to the cut. Oh, 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 oh. oh what's for dinner? <laughs> So yeah, I I honestly think Tampa Bay is going for sure. KC, this is in the back of my mind right here. Oh that yeah, the A, the AFC is so hard because there's so much talent in the AFC alone. I, I don't say Ravens because they're known to kind of choke in big games. Until Lamar but, proves differently, I can't say Ravens either. Uh, there was an analyst today. I can't think of his name. He chose Titans. I do not agree with that as well. I don't think Tannehill can get you there. Um, yeah, again, he's like a Rodgers. He's good at getting you close, and he will for a while. Hey, but Rogers, I, I, I don't see so, it. No disrespect, but – and I can see the Browns, obviously. Like I said, my outlook and my biased opinion, I can see the Browns going too. Until you get OBJ off. I don't think so. No matter what coach you have, I just don't see Tomlin it. Tomlin did it with A.B. What? Didn't Tomlin and A.B. win a Super Bowl? A.B. and, and Antonio's Brown. Antonio Brown's first championship was last year with Tampa Bay. Really? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We had the best wide receiver in the league, one of the best running backs for it. At the time, he was the best running back. Yeah, a you top to five quarterback, a good O line, and you want to know what screws it all up? Interceptions, because your teammates over there whining and crying, and holdouts because you're over there whining and crying. Oh, uh,
Um, but yeah, obviously got your F squad, Eagles, Houston, and Matty Ice and Company. I look for Houston to do the worst. Obviously, we just talked about who did best. Anything else on your side? Nothing, man. Pretty cut and straightforward. It's a tier list. You know, we had about 20 minutes of arguing. <laughs> but, you know, that's what happens on some tier lists. And that's that's football. If you're not arguing in football, go talk ballet or something. Oh, that shit's intriguing, dude. You try to get up on your tippy toes. Hey, I'm not saying I could do it. I know if you don't buckle. Look, <laughs> Trust me, I just buckled a couple of weeks ago on some stairs <laughs> on my toes. <laughs> that was the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Drop like a stack of potatoes. All right, but that was Corey. I'm Cody. I'm done arguing for the night. Ready to go catch some Z's. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, you comment down below. Tell me what you think. Let me know how much you think I'm biased on the fucking Browns because I'm sure there's some Steelers fans out there that are golfing, just like Corey, if that's the right automatopoeia to use. Golfing. We're fucking out. Golf.